Now, prices of basic commodities continue to skyrocket across South Sudan despite the strong value of the local currency. South Sudan is raised concern on the interim of the prices on food commodities in the market. The government has, however, promised to engage traders to find a lasting solution. More of that in this report. South Sudan depends largely on commodities imported from neighboring Kenya, Sudan and Uganda. Many residents in the capital Juba say prices of basic goods continue to rise. Always when we try to ask the trader, they are telling us they are being overtaxed by the authority. City council take a lot of money from them. So when we ask them, can you reduce it? No, but the dollar has now come down. They said no. The dollar has come down, but the government they are taking too much money from them. Central government, they are complaining, taking money, city council. So there is no way they can reduce the market. And they are being told to reduce the price. They cannot reduce it. So this is really the challenge we are seeing here. It's making life very difficult. The price are going up. The salary is not being increased. The government has not paid salaries for civil servants for months. <laughs> Now the dollar is losing value against South Sudanese pounds, but commodity prices are high. A sack of maize flour is more than my salary, let alone the other expenses like rent, medical bills and so on. The government should increase salaries for us civil servants, otherwise we cannot afford to live in this country. South Sudan's government says it is trying to clear salary areas for civil servants and will then review the payment structure. The East African landlocked country heavily depends on oil to finance its budget, but a reduction in oil production from 185,000 barrels per day to 170,000 barrels per day due to COVID-19 disruptions has negatively impacted revenue generation. The cost of different goods here also differs from one market to the other. South Sudan Central Bank says it is working to try and harmonize prices. Our commitment to ensure that there is stability in the economy, that the exchange rate is stable, uh, that the, uh, the, 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 the prices are, are stable, and of course under the framework of peace, that there is peace in, in the country, that, 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 that's the conducive, you know, uh, environment, business environment that allow uh, economic sectors, including banks, to, 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 to lend. The government is also promising to engage traders to find ways of reducing prices to make life easier for South Sudanese who frequent markets like this one.